Debate over the death penalty once again in the spotlight today as California Governor Gavin Newsom is expected to sign an executive order stopping executions in that state. Newsom is signing today's order despite voters rejecting two ballot measures that would have ended capital punishment. California has the nation's largest death row inmate population. 737 people sitting on the row. That's about a quarter of the country's death row population. Florida, in case you were wondering, has the second largest death row population in the nation. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis and the state's clemency board are set to meet. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live this morning. Ashley, it is rare for the board to grant clemency to a death row inmate in our state. Yes, it is, Jen. And Florida's clemency board meets a few times each year, but no Florida governor has granted a death row inmate clemency in more than 35 years. 343 men and women are currently on death row in Florida. Two of the most recent inmates to join them are from here in northeast Florida. One of them is James Colley, the St. John's County man who shot and killed his estranged wife and her best friend inside a Mirabella home several years ago. The other is Donald Smith, the registered sex offender who murdered eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle here in Jacksonville back in 2013. The most recent Jacksonville inmate to be put to death was Mark Asay. He killed two people in Jacksonville in the late 1980s, and he gave a death row confession to News for Jack's anchor Tom Wills. Asay was the first inmate to be executed following a temporary halt of executions while the state changed death penalty sentencing rules. Former Governor Rick Scott signed 28 death warrants. That's the most of any Florida governor. DeSantis has not signed a death warrant since becoming governor, but he is a supporter of capital punishment. And the clemency board is meeting this morning in Tallahassee. We plan to monitor that being throughout the day to see if the governor or his cabinet discuss California's announcement. Of course, we'll keep you posted.